What is up my friends? So it's taken me some time to get adjusted to this new year. With 2018, I was hoping to bring you a video every single day. And at this point, I think I haven't made a video in about two days or three days now. And that's a no-no for me. So I'm starting off the year right again. Let's talk about this movie, Insidious The Last Key. So Insidious The Last Key is basically chapter four. It doesn't mean that it goes in chronological order from one, two, three, and four. Let's talk about the timeline first. So it goes chapter three, chapter four, chapter one, and chapter two. That is where we're at in the timeline. There's some more little timelines here and there that because of flashbacks and all that, we could really talk about the whole story of Insidious. For now, we're gonna talk about this ending. So a quick recap, Insidious The Last Key takes place with Elise having to overcome her childhood trauma from her father and a haunting a spirit that she actually let loose when she was younger. This is what basically this movie deals with and now she's helping another man who is dealing with this who lives in her childhood home. The demon that is haunting the man and haunted Elise is actually the key face demon or whatever you want to call him. And this is actually something that Elise has to go into the further to battle along with Specs and Tucker. So they ultimately do go up against the demon they ultimately do end up banishing it whatnot and they actually come across dalton and this is before chapter one so they don't know who dalton is but they come across him in the further and after they are done battling the demon whatnot they come back to their respective bodies all is good cheery cheery yeah yeah elise starts having a nightmare she is in dalton's room and has been attacked by the red faced demon then the red faced demon pops up from the window and elise wakes up just as her phone rings she answers the phone and on the other end of the line is lorraine now, who is Lorraine? In chapter 2, we meet Lorraine. She is Josh's mother. And who is Josh? Josh is actually Dalton's father. And she says, I need your help once more. What does this mean? This means that Lorraine at a point has already asked for Elise's help. And if you've watched chapter 2, you know it happened then. When Josh was being haunted by the Black Belt Bride. And she actually was one of the first cases that Lorraine picked up when she was really young. And you see it in chapter 2. So Lorraine, of course, knows that Elise is an expert at all of this and she can really help her grandson who has been taken into the further by the red faced demon. So this movie connects us to the chapter one and two in that aspect. Chapter three is connected in the first half of the movie where Elise is talking about a woman named Quinn who is actually the young girl that Elise helped save in Insidious chapter three. Overall, the series does deliver with this last movie that they've made, and it's not as good as the first or second one. Anyways, what did you think about the Insidious Chapter 4, The Last Key? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Do you think we should continue the series? Do you think that they should stop? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, but anyways, more videos coming soon. I will not be putting a video out tomorrow. I'll be putting out videos starting Monday, and I'm just going to try and get them through. Get them out there as fast as I can, because I just cannot stop lacking but anyways that's gonna do it for me let's reach 2800 subscribers we're like 30 subscribers away from that together we can do it but as always it's gonna do it for me i'll see y'all next time stay positive